part of the process of being an artist is to collect certain things that I think influence or could influence what I produce. So I moved to Berlin in 87, so two years before the wall came down. And I think at that point there were like three or four galleries in the town. When the wall came down, I went with my back to see art places in East Berlin. Hi, Jonathan. Hi there. How are you? I'm very well, and you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. So this is our first... Topic. This is my first choice. Okay. Yeah, okay. Why don't you come okay. in? Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> No, oh, it's a beautiful show, yeah. this presentation. Actually, when Gisela Kapitän and Friedrich Petzold opened the gallery, they had a, a Kippenberger portrait, uh, a, a, a painting at the very end yeah. of, the, of the room. It was so precisely yeah, yeah. Um, placed. I mean, I think collectors um, moved to Berlin in, in, in recent years. Yeah. There are very few uh, collectors really which have been living in Berlin for, for decades. I think here it was always good because the, there wasn't that big base of collectors. Um, and there still isn't. I don't, shows could go up and come down and, and there could still be interesting shows and it wasn't all about who was the next big mm. art star. Mm. It was just about hopefully good ideas in odd places that were or were not part of some big scene. Um, yeah. Run over by a bicycle. Please tell me about your relationship to the collectors. I have this odd connection to collectors. Yeah. Um, mainly because a lot of them I like and appreciate what they collect, I think. And, and certain times I'm, I make work directly for people and yeah. mm. the work can't really exist unless they're involved in its productions. Jonathan, why is this place so special for you? I think it really was the first place that I felt I could come in and yeah. look at these kind of things like that. Mm felt normal. Other mm. places it mm. always felt a little bit uncomfortable, mm. like mm. Uh, trespassing. Mm. And the books, they play an important role in your work. Yes. Or is it a private passion and... Uh... No, I think they're both somehow connected, mm. or mm. even without realizing. Mm. I guess you... I know, I legitimize one thing by doing another thing mm. somehow. Jonathan, when did you start collecting artists' books? The first one I bought was a Sol Le Witt book. That yeah. It was called Cube. Yeah. And then I, I, I started using uh, books in my work, so it became a reason to collect more. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of kept collecting them and stopped using them a little bit in the work, but I still kept mm -hmm. getting the books. Yeah. And then I was just interested in trying to find books that were artworks in themselves. So this is one of my favorite uh, places in Berlin. Wow. So uh, as a collector, um, you're inspired by this place to, uh, well, what exactly? In what way? Because here you, I mean, in a sense here, you can only look at the things. Yep. You can't take them home with you, unless you're really... Yeah, I mean, basically you can simply enjoy one of the most beautiful drawings of all times, and you see them without any glass. Yeah, that is and quite you, amazing. So you can train your, your eyes. True. Hmm. 
for me, it's like paradise. I mean, you can walk through the centuries and, and study in detail. So when I'm retired, I will spend most of my time probably here. It's <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't know such a resource existed here in Berlin. <laughs> so this is probably...